Hello friends today I will show you how to create simple spinner or loader using CSS3. Friends after recreating the Google loader with clean CSS recently, I set off to recreate the classic spinner with CSS. Friends this is my simple page with some HTML code. In this page first I have defined one division with class loading. Now friends I have moved to set CSS properties. Friends first I have set CSS property HTML. In this I have set height to 100 percentage. Friends after setting HTML height now I set CSS property for page body. First I set display property of body. I have set display as flex. The flex property specifies the length of the item relative to the rest of the flexible items inside the same container. Now friends I have set justify content property of body. I have to set space around. The justify content property aligns the flexible containers items when the items do not use all available space on the main axis. After this I have set align items property as center. The align items property specifies the default alignment for items inside the flexible container. Lastly I have defined background as black color. Now friends I have used new concept of CSS3 at the rate keyframes. The at the rate keyframes rule specifies the animation code. The animation is created by gradually changing from one set of CSS styles to another. During the animation, you can change the set of CSS styles many times. So friends I have write at the rate keyframes with name spinner. In keyframes I have set the animation rule and store into spinner. I have defined two animation rule at two stage. First is zero percentage which is the starting of the animation and second is hundred percentage when the animation is completed. Now friends I have set properly into this two keyframes animation stage. In zero percentage I have set transform property with rotate zero degree. And friends in hundred percentage stage I have set transform property with rotate 360 degree. Friends this transform property applies to 2D or 3D transformation to an element. This property allows you to rotate, scale, move, skew to elements. This code will rotate element to 0 degree to 360 degree and round. Now friends I have moved to set CSS property of loading class. In this first I have define animation property. Here I have defined spinner. Because in spinner I have already set animation rule in this. Friends one second is for animation duration property. One second means it will rotate zero to hundred percentage in one second. Friends infinite for animation iteration count property. The animation iteration count property specifies the number of times an animation should run. Here infinite make the animation continue forever. And linear for animation direction property, with the help of this animation direction property animation will run in linear direction. Now friends I have defined border radius property to 50 percentage in width and height set to 24 pixel. After this I have set border property of loading class to border with point 25, border style to solid and border color to hash triple nine. Now friends I have set border top color property with white color. The border top color property sets the color of an element's top border.
Now friends suppose I want to make change in look, for this I have add two CSS property like a border style to double and increase border width to 0.5 rem and save and check out what in browser. So, friends this is my video on how to create simple spinner or loader with help of CSS without using GIF image. So friends thank you for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video you can comment on this video I will reply on your comment. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.